Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the Benavides versus Andre is on as undefeated former two-time super middleweight champion and current WBC interim champion David Benavidez puts his interim title on the line when he takes on former two division world champion and undefeated Demetrius Andre. They will collide in main event a Showtime pay-per-view card on November 25th. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, this fight, um, you know, a lot to look forward to in this one. David Benavidez, um, hey, this is really put up or shut up for both fighters. Um, Benavidez is the Mexican monster. He's been viewed as the, 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 the guy that Canelo's ducking, supposedly. And he's, you know, the next big thing. And, um, and all that, you know. And I, I, I believe in most of the hype. Um, do I believe Canelo has been ducking him? Ducking? Um, it's tough to say. You know, I think there's a, there's a yes and a no to that. Um, but after this fight, and this goes for Andre as well, whoever wins this fight, if they do not get Canelo Alvarez in 2024, then they have absolute right to say this guy is ducking me for sure because they will have earned it in this showdown right here. So that's why, to me, this is a very intriguing matchup because David Benavidez, as we said, you know, he's widely avoided um, by Canelo, according to him, and you know, according to a lot of fans, and he is supposed to be the next big thing in the sport. You know, he's been around for about five years. He's been world champion twice. He cost himself the belts both times, um, cocaine issues and then weight issues, and now, you know, he's he looked. Uh, fantastic against Caleb Plant earlier this year. I thought that was the be the biggest win of his career. He has wins over Anthony Durrell and David Lemieux. So now it's it's his opportunity to to seal the Canelo deal by by defeating Demetrius Andre. But Andre, you know, as I said, this guy has been calling out Canelo, and I think he's the least deserving guy of the shot because he hasn't done shit are taking those chances against guys like Benavidez or, or whatever, it's not to say he hasn't tried to get these guys in the ring. He hasn't tried to get Benavidez until now. He did try to get Charlo and guys like that to fight him, and those guys ducked Andre for sure. But this is a clear-cut fight of what Canelo said. Why don't they fight each other, and then I'll fight the winner. And now they're fighting each other. So for me, after this fight, there are no more excuses for anybody, but especially Canelo. Because I don't think I don't think Canelo was wrong. I think Canelo was dead on saying these guys need to fight each other and then I'll fight them. And he said that about Benavidez, he said that about Charlo, and he said that about Andre. Finally, two of those three fighters are fighting each other. And like I said, the winner, in my opinion, absolutely moves to the front of the line of the Canelo sweepstakes and should be the man to get the fight um, by May or September of next year. So I believe that this is a huge fight because the winner, sh not all, it, it, it's not a matter of will they get the fight, is they absolutely should get the fight. And everybody knows that I am a Canelo fan. I like Canelo a lot. I think he's good for the sport, and I think... He is a, a very skilled fighter, but he's also not like, uh, but he's also not afraid to go after an opponent. And um, he gets a mixture of knockouts and decisions. Um, and, you know, it makes him more intriguing, you know? So um, I'm a big fan of him. And I really believe though, that um, now is the time for, for the winner you know, for the winner of this fight between these two, to leave no doubt. Benavidez coming off the biggest win of his career. Andre coming off a victory in January where he fought, he fought for the first time in like, I think it was 14 months since he signed with the PBC. And, you know, 
um, prior to, he's just, he's been out of action a lot, but is 168 more comfortable for him? Is he gonna be able to, you know, make the adjustments needed, have the stamina? Is Benavidez gonna be, um, you know, able to handle a guy with the style of Andre who, who can move and box in the southpaw? We're gonna see. All these questions about both these fighters are gonna be answered in this fight, and I can't wait to see it. So, Saturday, November 25th, Showtime pay-per-view, the main event, the WBC interim title at super middleweight on the line with the winner to be guaranteed a shot by the WBC to fight Canelo. Benavidez versus Andre is on. Don't miss out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.